Welcome to our Africa Tech segment. Artificial intelligence has become one of the most trending topics in today's digital world, offering the industry with smart and innovative business solutions. Due to continuous competition for clients, brands are now enabling artificial intelligence in their enterprise, helping to improve user experience and increasing brand awareness. On our segment today, we'll be discussing how AI is changing the e-commerce industry. And we have joining us Tony Rostom, CEO, Area Connect Limited. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah. I start by asking, what are the basics of artificial intelligence? Um, artificial intelligence is slowly and steadily taking over um, commerce, e-commerce in the world today. Um, basically, it's just um, using machines, uh, smart machines, to do what um, human intelligence would have done. You know, so these days you have um, a machine or uh, um, a smart machine helping you do your search. Um, you, you, for example, you don't have to go to Google and then you type. That is um, slowly going out of um, fashion. Today, you have um, um, speakers that you can talk to and they will do all of that for you and even shop for you. That's just one side of it. So basically, um, artificial intelligence is just um, having um, a smart machine that's been trained like a robot, um, whether it's um, on your phone or um, physically out, out of your phone like a like normal robot we know, um, doing everything that you want for you interesting there that you will need to go to Google to type yourself. Please ex expatiate on that. How does artificial yeah, intelligence okay. help with that? Okay, um, normally in, in times past, you would um, go to your um, Google, um, put your set, let's say I'm looking for Benin City, um, wait for that to come out. But today you don't have to do that. Let's take a practical example. Okay. With um, Alexia and Siri, you know, um, you can actually buy using that machine right. uh, without having to go to, yeah, eBay and the rest of them. So okay. robots are being trained to, yeah, to understand human activities and human needs and respond um, accordingly. Yeah. So how are these... Artificial intelligence, how, is, how are they transforming the e-commerce industry? Uh, yes, e-commerce, as, as we see, um, is the same thing. You still have to go online, you, you yeah. shop. You know. Now you have machines that can tell and predict what you would normally buy based on what you bought before. Already we have um, um, e artificial intelligence in um, e-commerce today because 24 hours buying online is only done by chatbots, which are um, artificial intelligence uh, machines. So with e-commerce with e today, it's, for example, I, I, want to, I, want to, I want a logistics company to do a delivery for me. Um, instead of me having to call it a logistics company, or I can simply just um, type or, or just send my chatbot to do all of that for me. So e-commerce is evolving. People are beginning to understand that you don't really need to do much. Uh, you know, your, your chatbot or your artificial intelligence inbuilt can do that for you, you know. Um, we also have a situation whereby uh, people who are using, um, um, for example, you have an e-commerce site, you want to know what people would normally buy, what's trending, um, how you can predict sales, uh, what would normally happen. Now, these things are beyond human intelligence, but Artificial intelligence, they are putting all of that in place and making it work. You know, we're about to see a new world uh, where things are done. It's not what they say about robots that they're going to take over the world. That's not what's going to happen. They're really going to take over a lot of um, the things that we've been trained um, going to years in university, you know, um, except you are artist artistically gifted, you know, something unique that a robot can't do. Slowly, people are going to start losing their jobs. All right, let's talk about returns. How do, how does e, how do e-commerce companies use AI to drive better returns to their industry? Yeah, well, um, basically when, when you, you have something go, making it faster, you have um, like a robot that's making sales faster, that's predicting um, what's gonna happen. Um, 
and all of that. It simply means that you know you can you can make higher returns. You can um, um, uh, get more customers. Um, you can actually reach out to a lot of people more. So it's the future. It's it's definitely going to be according to what what the predictions show. Today we have less than four million um, revenue coming from. Um, artificial intelligence, but in 2025 it will rise to 36.5 billion um, um, uh, returns from e-commerce or, or other part, uh, aspects that are using um, artificial intelligence. So it spells a whole lot great for a lot of people, um, and people are beginning to know that, um, particularly in other parts of the world. But it's slowly creeping into Nigeria, you know. So basically, that's what it is. That's what it does. All right, then, thank you so much, IT expert Tony Rostom. Thank you for speaking to us on Africa Tech. Thank you very much. Saeed Jamal owns a unique home in Abuja, Nigeria, built in the shape of an airplane. He began constructing the house in 1999 as a gift for his wife, who loves traveling. The Lebanese Nigerian lives in the airplane house with his children and grandchildren. It's now a tourist attraction as much as it is their home. In Asokorod, a neighborhood in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, this unit structure stands out among other houses in the area. It's the creation of Jamal, a 62-year-old Nigerian citizen of Lebanese descent who was born to a family that settled in Nigeria and operated a renowned automobile workshop. The structure features a swimming pool, a mosque, bedroom at the plain wings, a guest house and a garden. I got married. My wife, she likes to travel a lot. So, to keep her safe and to save her life and to keep her near, near me, that's why I suggest to build the house for her in Abuja. At the time, Jamal had just moved to Abuja from the north central state of Jos, where his parents lived, to start his own construction firm. The city was poised to be the new Nigerian capital, and after a year spent searching for land near the city center, it settled on Asokoro. Jamal says he renovates the property every year, putting a new coat of paint when necessary and improving the design. He has seven children and 15 grandchildren. His son, Mohammed Jamal, works with him in construction and says his father has helped build a strong legacy for the family. I don't think I can actually think of doing something like that, but. You know, we are impressed, we're impressed. He thought outside the box and he did it and, you know, we have to give it to him. He's done something different. The house took over three years to design and was modified several times to meet the family's requirements. When I finished my aeroplane, everybody was happy, including the ministers, the president, everybody was happy for the design because I achieved something newly for, new for Abuja as a tourism for them in Abuja. The structure is open to visitors who want to take a tour of the property. Well, that is just beautiful. And that's it on the program today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Layo Adegoke. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>